Hi, my name is Tanya Bryce, and I have lived in the community for 23 years, over 23 years. Um, I have worked in the community for over 20 years. I've worked for and volunteered for the Brandon Library. I've worked and volunteered for the school district. I have worked and volunteered for the township um, through elections. I have worked and volunteered um, with the DDA. I, of course, work at the village currently. Um, my children have all been raised here. They've graduated. Um, I've also, for the past five years, been raising um, foreign exchange students as well in our school district. I've really been enjoying that. Um, I volunteer uh, in many different places in the community. Um, volunteer through OSEF, uh, through the DDA, through um, Creek Fest, September Fest, um, local churches. I really enjoy being a part of this community. Why are you running for office? Um, currently, I am a village trustee. I am on the planning commission, um, the personnel committee as well. Um, unfortunately, Wayne Wills will be retiring. Um, we wish him well. And now is my opportunity to continue um, to work with some of the things that I have been working with for the past four years. What do you think you bring to the table as far as strengths go as a candidate? Um, I would venture to say that that would be um, my open-mindedness. Um, sometimes I tease I'm left-handed, so I think the outside box the opposite way. Um, I definitely like to ask a lot of questions. I'd like to get um, all the information. Um, I talk to anybody and everybody. I'm constantly asking opinions and you know where you stand, what you think. Um, I like to have multiple ideas laid out in front of me and then pick and choose from there. Um, I'm organized. Um, I'm fiscally responsible. I like to see something from beginning to end. Um, and I like to be a part of multiple things in this community. Okay. What is your, uh, your personally, what do you think is the biggest issue facing our community at the moment? If you were to isolate one issue. Ooh, that's difficult. Um, I would have to say um, it, it's kind of two in one. Um, communication um, and seeing that through. Um, so being uh, different entities with the township, with the village, with the DDA, um, seeing all of those communicating, trying to get them to act together more, trying to get them more involved together. Um, our manager's been doing some great things with hey, we'd like to purchase one of these, what about you, and reaching out to the township. Um, the township has been doing a couple projects of late and you know, has uh, been seeing if that's something we're involved in. And this is something that is kind of new to us. We've had some rocky roads lately, and I'm really excited about the communication that you can do. Um, I see it as all the entities being able to use their strengths and weaknesses together. And so when you're really strong at something, the village just goes and goes and does their thing. When they're not and they need a little help and direction, well, it's great to have help from the DDA or from the township. You mentioned communication as being sort of the, the pinnacle of where everything starts. Yes, definitely. How do you enhance that as a candidate and certainly as a trustee currently? How do you uh, improve that process? How do you, what do you bring to the table that you could help with, the, that, with that communications? Um, well, what I see currently is we are right in the middle of laying the groundwork. Um, we're redoing the master plan, we're redoing the capital improvement plan. Those should be finished and right at the cusp um, about the end of the year. So I'd be super excited to start with that. Once those items are done that we've been working really hard on with the communications, um, we've met with the um, planning commission, we've met with the village council, we've had re residents come in and meet. Now we have all of this communication, we need to form it into something, we need to do something with that. So the next step, which will begin the end of the year, I would love to be involved in, is to give a timeline to these items, give a priority list to these items, and then begin to implement these items for our community. And that would be the exciting part of that. All of these communication pieces coming to fruition and being a stronger community. You mentioned being part of the Planning Commission as well as part of being a village trustee. Uh, we're broadcasting now public, uh, excuse me, we're broadcasting uh, Planning Commission meetings. Correct. As well as EDA meetings. Do you think that's an enhancement of communication? I think it's great. Um, I think I think another you know part of that is the transparency. Um, we have a lot of people asking, where can I get this information? It's election time. Where can I find out these things? So you know, being able to direct to OTV, being able to direct you know online, get the meeting minutes, get the information, um, getting things out there quick to our community, and getting things out there in multiple places. You know, people read, people watch, people see, and we need to be able to reach that and communicate and communicate and communicate. That's a good word to say the least. It's <laughs> my favorite right now. <laughs> is there anything we haven't asked or is there anything else you want to leave us with? Um, I don't think so. I think, you know, we're just excited to see where this election brings us and, and what we can do as a community and, you know, continue to support each other and continue to be a part of it. 
Okay. Appreciate your time. Thank you very much.